One of the things I really got heavily involved in, and it's something that's such a creative process, something that gave me another outlook, another way to work, is something that you should consider. And what is that? Film, motion picture film. So what I did, and like I mentioned with the Fire Fawcett one, or other ones, we would shoot a film a sequence. Uh, we would shoot, should I say, a, a still that, uh, that captures the essence of the movie, but it's not a scene from the movie. We create our own scene work with the actors and so forth. And the experience was really great. And being on a film set, then I started doing for a number of years, uh, ABC had movies of the week all the time. And I would go all over shooting for the movies a week, and it was really great. I remember the experiences that we had. Uh, one set took me, actually, to Georgia. It was not, not far outside of Atlanta, where we shot some uh, a Civil War scene and so forth, where um, R Jason Robarts was playing Abraham Lincoln. So that week, we shot that. And the next week, I went to Montana to shoot the Battle of Little Bighorn, and there I was with... Um, uh, extras that played um, Native Americans and and um, and custard and all that and and I captured stills for myself that was really really great with some of these is you need to shoot for yourself and these are some of the rewarding things that I shot for myself with that but the point that I'm making is it gave me exposure to how directors work how actors work how you work with actors and how uh, how much different but yet the same it is to do movie pictures. Um, so I wound up, even in the beginning, I started saying, well, I, I could be able to do this with motion pictures or movie pictures uh, and work with a camera and, and do that. So what I did, um, first I applied using the grips and gaffers because I did a campaign for, as an example, one of the campaigns I did was for Cavassier uh, for their cognac. And I had to light up a whole beach scene. I had to create something with lighting, moonlight, and everything else. And, and in order to do this, I couldn't do this with just my crew. So I told the ad agency for Cavassier that we're going to do it. I'm going to bring in a, a grip and gaffers to, to do this. And we had set settings with large scaffolding and um, 10K big movie lights, one done for moonlight, then others to light up the palm trees. And I wound up doing that and I said, wow, this is great. This is a way to work. And all I had to do is be more like a film director and direct them that way. If I could shoot like that, maybe I'm going to start shooting some things and why not be able to apply it the way I would work? And the way I would work would be the same kind of lighting. No different in the type of lighting used for the movie uh, look, the directional light, the softness, the mood, the pensiveness, the movement, everything. Uh, so you'll see here that here's a, a reel of a montage of different things that I've done. And there are some things where I shot it myself with an RE 16 millimeter camera. And I actually shot it myself with the two um, the two models being close to each other, and then other ones I've done for other clients. You'll see something there I've done on a long form for Fabio and other um, commercials that I've done or for Wrangler Jeans or some things that I've done for myself. But you'll get, when you look at that, you'll get the idea, you'll see the same kind of feeling. And I have more samples of that, of ads that I shot, Ivory Soap or different commercials. And it was really a great outlet for me.